What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Happy New Year's! If you're watching this before the clock strikes 12 on December 31st, be sure to sign up for the Miami Sony Ericsson Open Contest, which includes two tickets to the tennis event with all the top players, airfare, and lodging. This is the best vacation ever. Yeah. Told you we didn't have to spend all that money. Yeah. Heads up tennis fans, Tennis Now wants to send you to Miami for the Sony Ericsson Open. All you have to do is register online at TennisNow.com. One grand prize winner will receive airfare to Miami, three nights in a hotel, and tickets to two days of the tournament. For full details and contest rules, log on to TennisNow.com and follow the link at the top of the page. Once you're done, have a look at our daily news updates, live scores, player gear guides, and more. The contest is open through December 31st, 2010. You can enter once a day for more chances to win, so keep logging on to TennisNow.com. If you didn't make it in time, be sure to open up the Tennis Now year-end digital magazine with a ton of new promos and contests. All are in the links in the info section below. Click the subscribe button right here on the Tennis Now logo to figure out all of our tennis features. On to the news, American tennis player and former world number six, Shanda Rubin, lost her house to a fire in Lafayette, Louisiana during a thunderstorm on Wednesday. Lafayette fire officials said the cause of the fire was lightning. She was at home at the time, but no one was hurt. The firefighters stayed for two hours before extinguishing the fire. Shanda 34 says she is unsure whether she will rebuild at the site and said, I'm going to take it one day at a time. She has been ranked as high as number nine in the world in doubles and has won seven single titles on the WTA tour, the last being in 2003. She was the third African-American woman on the open era to reach the top 10 after Zena Garrison and Lori McNeil. In 2010, Rubin toured the oil-stained areas of Louisiana devastated by the BP oil spill as part of a Sierra Club sponsored event. Nicholas Kiefer announced his immediate retirement from professional tennis. The German player has a career high as four in the world and won a silver medal in men's doubles with partner Renier Schwitzer at the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens. He has five ATP Tour finals. The reason he stated he was retiring from tennis was that he wants to spend more time with his four-month-old daughter, Mabel Emmeline, as he wrote on his website. The 2011 WTA and ATP Tour begins in Brisbane on Sunday, and Caroline Wozniacki is starting off the new season officially with a Yonix racket, the new V-Core, after playing with a Babolat racket for the past five years. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel, which we made super easy. All you have to do is click on that green button under the Tennis Now logo. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter as we'll be covering the latest in 2011. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you Monday.